morning. Happy Friday! Yay! So I am um, Heather, and uh, thank you for joining me or watching me from Gloria's Pottery Barn. Um, this is Imco Dragon Fruit, and I need to weigh it. How big is this? Well, I'm going to tell you it's more than 10 pounds because my scale aired. And we're going to go big today. If it doesn't work out, hopefully you enjoyed the show. I'm uh, coning this in layers because, for reals, 10 pounds is a lot. My wheel isn't going super fast. Good morning. Um, I don't know how much clay this is because my scale, I think it tops out at 10 pounds and it aired. Um, we're going big today. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm making. Uh, all I know is I've got this big hunk of clay. 
I'm wearing my gloves because the Imco dragon fruit is going wayside. I might turn it into a uh, Nevada Christmas charms. Do some hand building with it. And I whacked the top of my finger off. <laughs> so I definitely need some gloves today. So I am literally putting all my body weight and I don't think I need to do this too much because I can rim center it which means once I get it pulled out I can hold on to it and get the clay to redistribute but I just really want to Give it a good shot at life. Oh, that feels pretty good, actually. Okay, we ready for this? Um, this is literally the biggest thing I've ever thrown. I uh, threw six pounds of Lucas in the studio when my niece was here. Maya, if you're watching this, I love you. Um, and this aired out the scale, so. I'm a little nervous. I do feel a little bump going on right here that I want to get wiggled out before we. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna hold my finger in the middle, level this out. Oh my goodness, um, the whole barn is literally wiggling. I do not have the center. <laughs> if I wait for center, I feel like I'll, I'll be here all day, so. In we go, people. Oh, so satisfying. Only I could just stop right there. It'd take days for it to dry though. Days as in 365. Hi Joe. Where are you at right now? Are you in the States? So I'm about hand deep and I think I'm going to stop there because I really want to leave a substantial bottom foot on this because I feel like it's going to be big. Sorry that was loud. Alright so now I'm going to do Oh, good. Um, a rim center. So I'm going to pull it open pretty good. And hold on for dear life. And try to stay steady. Got like a pool of water in there.
I might have to do this with a big car wash sponge. So this is literally a car sponge. Oh, that's better. So the reason I'm using this car sponge right now is the gloves are sticking to the clay and I'd have to put so much water that I don't think it would be good. So I'm gonna use this sponge. And my left hand thumb is dragging nearly against the bat. All right, can we stop now? It looks like a big tire. It's tire art. I don't know. <laughs> I'm making a mess. Again, this is Enco Dragon Fruit. If you watched the video the other day, I whined and complained about it the whole time. So, I'd like to say I'm wearing gloves because of that. But for reals, I nipped the tip of my finger off my thumb on my right hand yesterday. So, just a little nick. Don't be upset, don't be worried about me. There was no stitches involved. There was super glue, just to make sure it doesn't get infected. Okay, I am all the way out to the edge of the bat. And it's pretty all the way out to the edge of the bat the whole way. Um, I'm super curious, are you guys super curious? How deep is this thing? I really need It's a good day for you to join. I'm making something big. I don't know what it's gonna be, but um, there's so much clay here that my scale wouldn't weigh it. So the bottom of this is about an inch. I think I'm gonna let it go with that. And I am going to compress it multiple times. So right now, you should be able to see the nub that's coming up from the center when I compress it. Um, I didn't know that that was a thing until I watched somebody throw something big like this. And um, when you throw something big, you can actually, you can see, like you guys are seeing right now, that as I'm compressing, the extra clay is coming out the middle. So today I'm compressing with both hands because if you're just watching, um, I don't know how much clay this is, but my scale aired. And I think the scale goes to 10 pounds. I'll have to turn it over and find out just out of curiosity's sake. So I'm compressing the bottom right now. Um, it's about an inch deep before I compressed it. Quite a bit of clay, I feel like. There's enough clay I'm losing here to make a mug. That's all right. That'll be fine. And like I started my video, if you guys weren't watching in the very beginning, um, if this fails, hey, hopefully it was comedy. See how the nubs are getting smaller and smaller? Oh, I'm throwing. It might be hard for you. So, good morning, Miss Meadows. Thank you for watching. We need to do a car wash again. It was a fun day.
pretty good. So as I'm running my fingers against the clay, you're probably like, why is she saying that's pretty good? Um, I'm, comp I'm pushing down and the texture, I guess you could say, all the way from where I'm starting my push to the middle is the same consistency. So I'm going to give it a squeeze and see what happens. I am literally all the way out to the edge of the bat. So the bats are 12 inches. Awesome. I'm going to keep giving the middle of this some attention. I, I've never thrown something this big, and I really just want to make sure that it doesn't crack on the bottom. Sorry there's no music today. Facebook uh, shut me down for royalties yesterday. So... I trimmed the beginning of my video yesterday. I need to contact Tay Tay and be like, hey, can I use your soundtrack? All right, I'm gonna have to slow this down. Um, as I'm, this is a lot of clay to move. And as the wheel's going super fast, it's just like a bag on your tire. It wants to go flying off and flying out. So um, I'm gonna slow it down. Alright, input. What do y'all think you're praying for me right now? So I'm going to compress this on the outside just a little bit. I do have a little bit of a wobble. And I really think that's probably from these gloves because I can't tell where it's sticking. So I'm going to give it a pretty good rim compression and try to get the wobble to work itself out. There it goes. What do y'all think? Should we stop there? Let it dry. It'll be a very elegant, big, heavy. You want to see me go higher, don't you? So again, if you're just watching, um, I don't know how big this clay is. My scales tops out at 10, that's pounds. For those of you in Europe, you're gonna have to get a calculator. I don't know what that conversion is. All right, we're going up. If this works out, my bamboo plant is getting a new home. What am I saying if, when, when it works out? My bamboo plant is getting a new home.
feels pretty good. And you can see my hands moving just a little bit. There is a bit of a wobble. Going with the two sponge technique here. sitting there with bated breath. You've got to breathe through pottery. Got to breathe. Get the wing out, Heather. What I'm trying to do right now is make sure this rim doesn't go flailing out too much. So I really don't want it to start taking shape until after. Well, you guys are still watching. That's crazy. make this more interesting for you. I am uh, thinking about taking this channel to YouTube. One of my videos had in 12 hours 700 likes. I feel like I'm going to be a superstar and make millions of dollars. What do you think? <laughs> Andrea, you keep saying that, but I feel like you're my only fan. The rest of y'all are just watching because it's something to do with your coffee in the morning. I'm just kidding. I love you guys. We've got a basic shape. Uh, my three fans right now, 
you are going to get to have input on what this is going to be. We've got some options here. Vase, gigantic serving bowl. Andrea, you saw one the other day at the pottery store. Um, what else? Come on, if you're watching way in, I have got over 10 pounds of clay right here waiting for us to be creative together. I need coffee for this. Big bowl, I like it. There's this gigantic bowl, Andrea saw it, at the uh, pottery store in Carson City. That's Nevada, if anybody's watching from outside the state. It's also a state capital, if you didn't know that, go back to fifth grade. Um, all right, I've got big bowl vase. Oh my goodness, you guys, couldn't you agree on something? Just kidding. Andrea, Danielle beat you. So, and Heather TV, she who gets there first wins, or he. In this case, it's a she. So, big bowl. I'm gonna give it a little more height because wouldn't it be awesome if this were to flail all the way out to the side of my pan? I feel like the clay has a good consistency for that. So um, when I say the clay has a good consistency for that, I mean um, it's not wet, I didn't get it too soggy. So when I open it up, I'm working through this with you. <sighs> You're so generous, Andrea. So giving of your heart. Jackie! Did you see the coasters? The coasters. They came out, Jackie. Um, unfortunately, the bowl, seriously, the only thing that <laughs> you really, really wanted, didn't get fired. So it's in the kiln right now, getting super hot. It's toasty. All right. This is over 10 pounds of Imco dragon fruit. And I'm stalling. Oh, well, what are you trying to say, Danielle? Are you saying that if this works out, it's sold? You know it is that lovely speckled clay. Well, in that case, I'll make sure I compress the bottom really, 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 really good. Because nobody wants a big bowl on, as a centerpiece with a crack in its butt. Jackie, how's life? How are them babies? I saw that somebody turned seven today. Okay. I'm doing it. Danielle, I feel like you should be here holding my hand right now. Grab your coffee. Come in your jammies. Let's go. Think this is big enough or do we need to go a little taller? So if we think this is... In spirit, sister. I know I love you. So this is... All, we're going to go six because, you know measurements six inches if we bring it out it's gonna be like this or you want it like this let's go like this if we're gonna do this I feel like we just need to go big big or go home do you love them do you love that they're all a little different I hope if not I can rethrow them and make them more the same I thought the different would give them a little bit of a talking point. And when you find the one that you love the most, you just let me know. Oh my 
goodness, this is so crazy. I don't know what I was thinking walking into the barn this morning. Actually, I know what I was thinking. I was thinking you chop. Okay, it was more of a nick. I nicked my finger. I'm a little bit of an exaggerator. I get that from my father. Sorry, Daddy, if you're watching, but it's true. Um, so I nicked my thumb the other day. The other day, as in yesterday. And I really didn't want to throw this in co-dragon fruit. Okay, here it comes, Danielle. You got a good view? Again, I don't have tools for this, and it's super important that you leave this hand hanging for balance. I feel like, Danielle, you're saying, Heather, quit talking and concentrate. Okay, something I'm gonna do before I start this plant. I'm really nervous. <laughs> What's Indo mean? Is that a... a uh, uh, fat finger. Did you mean info? Keep sharing the info. Is that what you're saying? Okay, so I'm cleaning off my rib. Um, because I'm gonna, uh, dry the slip, get all the slip out as much as possible. I'm not gonna be doing any more work on the outside, I don't think. So because of that, I'm gonna get the slip off the outside. I cannot believe I'm doing this right now, you guys. Um, okay, so metal rib. So I'm doing this to get the slip the gooiness off the outside. Um, the gooiness is called slip. It's a good thing. It's help. what helps give lubrication as I'm rubbing my hands across it. But when it goes to dry, I want it to dry as even as possible and as steadily as possible. So I'm going to take the slip off so it's a better chance at life. And as I'm doing this, I can feel it getting taller. Oh my goodness, Danielle. All right, I'm going to do this one more time because I feel like it's going to give me some more height. Forget to breathe. Do not forget to breathe. Who else still watching? Sound off. Okay. Here we go. Um, there are tools for this, like really big sort of, I don't even know what they, you would call it, compare it to, um, it looks like a big sponge, but it's made out of wood and it's used to open up bowls. I have not invested. I see them and I see, they're, they're literally like 40 bucks. 
And I'm like, man, I could just do that with a sponge. Maybe if I was doing this as a production potter. Um, Danielle, how, how wide do you want it? Give me a number. A number. All right, we're still going. You just say stop when you get scared. I love that you guys are here. Turn me on in the background. This is a workout this morning. I might need to change arms. Um, you pick. Oh, in other words, <laughs> I feel like I'm pay playing a game of chicken right now for reals. So you can see the shape it's getting. And I can see it in the mirror. Oh, it's so nice. It does have a little bit of a wobble. But you are watching Gloria's Pottery Barn doing business as Heather's rounded house of roundish things. I think we can go bigger. I'm giving it a gentle push. How much fruit do you want to put in here? That is the question, my lady. <laughs> that means I have to do this twice. <laughs> Are you guys willing to watch me freak out twice? Marisa, so seriously, this is so much clay that the scale quit working. Uh, no, you don't pay me until it comes out of the kiln and it's been sitting on the shelf for a week. There's a reason for that. We don't dedicate any heart or money into something until after it's been made, unless you're special ordering. And then I still don't take your money until after it's come out of the guild. All right, Danielle, I think we're at a stopping point. It is so... Um, let me lower the camera just a little bit so you can actually I'll just pull the camera off entirely if you guys judge my mess that's it I'm cutting you off Do you want me to make it wider? I can make it wider. It's a little straight on the sides. I can make it flail out just a little bit more. I'm giving you time to respond and take it all in, Danielle. This is Imco Dragon Fruit. She's got a really good shape in the center. I think I want to I feel like I'm stepping back looking at a piece of art which is so funny because I don't consider myself an artist um, I feel like I want to bring the edge out just a little bit more and make it a little yeah I'm with you Dee I'm with you Dee let's do it going wider Oh, sorry, that was probably really bright. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry.
Uh, there we go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. No. Doesn't want to stay. Oh. The shadow is just for me, I like to think. There we go. Can you still see? Oh, we can. We can. Wider. Wider. I didn't put bourbon in this this morning. No drinking and driving and pottery. I think I want the rim out wider. Marisa, what is the an order? Marisa, you're not ordering a thing. If you're if you're gonna order something, you're bringing your little tushy down here and those nine fingers, and we're doing this. Oh, that's it. So I'm looking at the mirror on the other side of the wall. I'm moving the water pan. So I have a mirror directly across from me so that I can get a good view of this angle. And So, Danielle, this will shrink about 12%. I'm going to say right now. So, my uh, wheel head, the bat is 12 inches. The wheel head is 14. It's got to be awesome. Okay. I still feel like we can go wider. We've got a really good foundation. Again with the hand. I only realize I'm doing it when I look up to see what you guys are. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to make you a prosthetic. Can we, that would be fun, Marisa. I'll make you a prosthetic. The rest of you on TV are like, what are you talking about? Oh, Jackie, you know how awesome. I just got teary. This would be amazing in black clay. And I literally have a big old bag of it right there. All right, here's the question. Do you guys want me to do a big black clay bowl like this live? Or I can just do it by myself, crank up my music. If you're wondering why it's so quiet in here, Facebook shut me down. You want to see? All right. Okay, seriously, Danielle, the shape of this is like a bowl. <laughs> no, it's super smooth. It's awesome. Do they? Oh, your little sweeties. Okay, D. I'm gonna lower this because I feel like the view is better lower, just so you can get a better idea of shape here. Going for a ride. If only it will turn. Any other time, it would just come crashing down, you know. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. What do you do? I literally never expected to be doing this. Um, so I got this camera stand just for funsies. Oh, there you go. That's a good spot. Okay. I feel like right here, I could come out just a little bit more. I'm liking that this is becoming a bowl, Andrea. Um, I feel like functional wear is my jam. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. I think we've pushed the limit. It's so good. Okay, drying the slip off the inside. I'm gonna wrap up the rim. So, um, oh man, I just did that. Um, when this clay dries, you want it to dry evenly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the rim up with plastic and let the bottom start drying. Um, and then I'm going to, once it's hard enough for me to flip it over, um, You all just sitting there with bated breath. I am. Don't forget to breathe. Oh, um, one more thing, detail that I have to put on right now, Danielle. Swirl lines or no swirl lines? So swirl lines are the marks of the potter. Um, or I can smooth it out and make it super smooth. Let me show you what swirl lines looks like. Okay, you understand what swirl lines work, looks like? You did, you you good? Cause I'm I'm seeing swirl lines right now, and it's awesome sauce. Swirl lines, D. Whew. All right, y'all. Today was awesome. The so unexpected. Um, I just saw this big ba black bag of Imco dragon fruit, and I was like, you are going down. You're not messing with my fingers anymore. And there she is. I'm gonna wrap it up, put it on a shelf, and let her dry. Thank you so much for the inspiration today. And um, Jackie, that, my friend, right there is a big old bag of black. I might be going back to black. Love you guys so much. And take chances today. Even if it's just a little bit. Just a little chance.
do something you wouldn't normally do. I love you. Have a wonderful Friday.